Okay, today is uh, Tuesday, March 17th, and I got just got through transplanting a few things out of this tray. This is tray number two. So as you can see, I still have a few things left in this tray. Mostly in this tray was, I believe, my cucumbers and my squash. So I had to hurry up and get them out of here because... These little trays are not really for them. They need to be big, bigger or at least should have just put one seed in each one. So this is what I've transplanted. I'm sorry. This is not what I transplanted. This is what was in those trays. Um, so over here in tray one is the pepper and tomatoes. You can see most of the tomatoes. Let me see. Uh, most of the tomatoes over here have germinated and a couple of peppers they just germinated in the last few days uh, so i do need to get to transplanting these tomatoes but they're not so much in a rush as is this tray that i just started on the 13th okay so this is what i transplanted so far today i'm going to take them outside and first i'm going to check on my babies that's out there already as you can see, there's not much going on. That is volunteer uh, borage. And my tree kills that fell over that I need to uh, get. Let's see, did anybody come back? Oh, I think I might have killed them, y'all. I think I might have killed them. Damn, damn, damn. They cost a lot of damn money. So, this greenhouse I was gonna say that I love the heck out of it but I got to show you something I'm very upset first of all I'll start with right here this plastic is cracking and that is not the only place <sighs> let me get my yellow canaries so let's see how my babies are doing in here Okay, what's happening in here? Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more plants that I can bring out here. I'm gonna turn this around because these are soaking. Soaking, soaking, soaking. Turn around that way. But so far, my babies are looking good. It looks like they're growing. These are the pak choy. Pak choy. Look at this though, pissing me off. Oh, I kind of really need to put some over there. Can you see the holes? I'm so pissed off, so, so pissed off. Anyway, how's my babies doing? Mm, Y'all cold out here? It's a cold day. Uh, Let me go get the other tray. Oh, how? Did you want me to get the uh, ADD? AED? No, the ADD. <laughs> you no, got the joke. ADD, baby. That's my Karen. The ADD. Oh. No, you know, we've got good light. It's a Canon product. Canon's got good sensors. Um, I don't know what squash plant these are. I think these are from my squash plant, but I'm not sure. But... I'm going to say some of these. Today is what? 19th. Thursday the 19th, March 19th. So I wanted to show you that um, I got out of the worm bin all of these zucchini, squash, whatever they are. Um, I think there are a few that are different types because this is a brown one um, and then this one is a lighter color. I have no idea. I'm thinking these came from my garden. Um, and um, I don't know so um, we're gonna keep them and just have more food you know to share so um, that's what we got I'll give you an update on how they're going this is the oregano I pulled from the garden we have some seeds as well they're right here 
So look at them, all the little itty bitty seeds. I believe that's oregano seeds. Uh, so I'm gonna try to replant those seeds and I'm going to make some tea out of this oregano for us tonight. And then I'm also gonna do some long-term, I don't know if I'm going to infuse it or if I'm just gonna dehydrate it and just use it as a dry tea. I'm not sure, but um, I will let you know. Okay, it's 7.18. I started at 3. I had a 15-20 minute coffee break, but this is what I got done so far. I'm tired, but I feel accomplished. This tray, right, was too wet. The soil was too wet. See that? You can pretty much wring out. So some of the plants were, oh, oh you can't see that. But anyway, you could pretty much wring out the water. You never wanted to get like that because some of the plants were getting root rot. So I don't know, some of these like these, um, they might not do too well, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave this top off. So this is what I got done so far over here as far as my tomatoes and eggplants. And then, uh, this is what we got here so far. And I need some more of those black trays so what I'm going to do right now, I just watered them. I'm going to take these outside and see um, if I could do any more. Okay, it's 10 p.m. And I did mostly all of my peppers and tomatoes. Just about done with those. Um, I took most of them outside, but it got dark, so I'm going to leave these ones in here. And then I did, oh no, well this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do some sunflower seeds, but I did, um, I also did my peas and my bush summer beans and my um, climbing or pole. Um, summer beans and so that's empty that's empty I don't know what I gotta figure out what was here it's the only thing that was left see what didn't germinate that's pretty much almost empty and yeah I'm super tired okay it's March the 23rd and there's nothing going on out here <clears throat> I did fertilize the trees finally on the 20th. Um, this is our borage that has reseeded itself. This is weed. And all the calendula that has reseeded. Um, I need to I need to go ahead and deadhead some of those. I dehydrate the calendula flowers and make medicine. Um, sorry for if it's dark in here. Make some more medicine. And that is one. Look at all this calendula. So and one little kale. I'm kind of sad because I think my, I can't even think of his name, but I think he's dead. I think he's dead. All right. The jungle. I need to go plant some garlic in between there. Anyway, I was coming to show you our little lemon trees. <laughs> 
save the seeds from to see how our babies are doing um i'm kind of running out of space here uh so But anyway, the babies are doing good despite the fact I have holes all in the greenhouse. Today is actually a very chilly day. Um, and the pak choy is doing pretty good. They like it cold, so this is A-OK -okay with them. <laughs> Who was that? All them plants in there. They must have just germinated. Who was that? Oh, that's Tat, so I put that in there. <clears throat> anyway, I've got to make room. These are the um, ones I got out of the compost, the worm compost. My husband told me to rescue so many dang other plants. Oh. All right, so well, I'm gonna see how much room I need. I'm gonna try and put my other, this has got holes everywhere. I'm so pissed off. Oh man, is this really a greenhouse if it's all open like that? Nothing up here, save a little lettuce that my husband rescued from the, from the uh, ground. I'm just taking some of the oregano seeds that I had from my plants when I harvested. And I'm just actually just rubbing it together to release the seed out of the a flower head. I never um, save the seed or have, and I can see a lot of seeds on here. So we'll see. This is my first time doing this. I've done this with basil and had much success. And now my fingers smell like medicine. I think I'm going to do another one. And I'm just gonna cover it lightly with some soil and see what we can see. Uh, the rest I think I'm gonna take, take and just sprinkle back outside. So I can clean up this mess here. I think that's enough seed. Uh, let me see. this mess I'm going to throw all of this back outside even the soil because I'm quite sure that it has some seeds in it Ooh, it's hot in here I really need to get these out of here real bad I started these on March the 23rd this is our oregano and uh, I need to get them out this is our little lemons we started from seed and that's my lemongrass. Only a couple germinated, but I'm grateful for them and I'm gonna take them out. Let me see if they smell like lemongrass. Nope, not yet. This is some mint harvested. I'm going to propagate it again as well. I'm gonna show you how I started this mint. It was in a container, I'll show you the container later. But this is how I started it. Just about one or two of these. 
I stuck them in a cup um, and then you can set them in water but I stuck them outside in a cup and once they uh, started getting some new set of leaves I put them in a container so these are old they've been out there they needed to been harvest uh, but anyway I'm gonna harvest them now and make some tea I'm gonna dehydrate them and put them in my little jar but I just wanted to show you that you can re um, propagate the mint leaves and you mint is like a it grows wild like a weed it's best to grow in it containers because it will take over your garden um, but it's good to have it spread out in different places around because the scent of it deters other pests so yeah I know it's kind of dark in here but I wanted to show you what I did with that mint um, I dehydrated it and then I um, just we store it in here we use it for tea it's spearmint so it's um, kind of a light um, flavor so I did get some peppermint and I think it would be good uh, we just been uh, drinking a peppermint um, just a few cups of tea but I would like to mix these two because the peppermint is excessively strong and it tastes just like peppermint candy so I think that it would be the perfect combination but yeah that's what we did with it um, and uh, yeah a tablespoon of um, dry leaves so one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is oh yeah and here's some of the beans. remember the beans so I got a little bit of the harvest today the peas now they are it's too hot outside for them so they are like dying off um, and then remember I had put those um, beans out there when they were wait they were even bigger than what you saw in the video um, as far as when I transplanted them which didn't do well because they became really really tall and like leggy and they started to fall over they were also getting eaten it was a little bit too cold for them um, the Chinese ones um, died because they like it really really hot but the ones that did make it through um, I am getting a good harvest but I would even got a better harvest if I would have transplanted them as soon as they um, germinate but that's okay because we have a long growing season here and I'm just gonna start some more. I just wanna check, show you the beans. This is the first one to semi pop up. That's, oh, they need some water. Mm. Long Chinese. I think it's interesting to look at them from the side. Look at that. Okay, today is 326. I need to get these, uh, just finish this stuff. Whatever hasn't sprouted, I don't think it's gonna sprout or germinate. So, however, that right there, I thought it was a jicama. Oh, it is jicama. Never mind. Um, the beans. Here are the beans. This is how they're looking. This is how they're looking. This is who's sprouting. This is who's popping up. Okay, <clears throat> those are the Chinese long beans that you see there. All right. So we got some some stuff popping up out of there. Um, and so I'm going to do that. And then I have some more stuff on this table that I really need to seed. And so I have also some Moringa. And so I'm just going to show you what I get done when I get done. Okay. Oh, dang, I forgot to show you how I um, put them in the containers, but basically just one inch, I put one seed in each cup and just put them one, push them down one inch and then pinch them close. 
and this is my little moringa so uh, only two germinated out of all those uh, seeds and uh, one died I think I watered them too much um, and this one needs to come out of this container so he's looking sad and um, I gotta get him out of this container cuz see look but um, I did order some more moringa seeds um, also these seeds were super old um, yeah they were like from 2013 or something so <laughs> I, I ordered some more seeds I'm just waiting for them and we're going to I'm going to try a few different methods but I'll take you along the journey with me okay March 27 need to get these little babies out of here yes 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 everybody is sprouting like crazy are those my homegrown are those my homegrown scarlet runner beans I don't know they look kind of big those must be the lima beans where's my homegrown beans at that's what I want to see all right so it's Sunday March 29th I just just brought these outside um, this is all the hardening off they are going to get so only the strong rain um, because I gotta plant I gotta plant them but I'm coming out here to get some I'm thinking about I'm thinking about clipping that onion uh, but I'm coming out here to get some um, I wonder how my babies is doing let's see how my babies is doing I think I killed the dahlias and that would be over half of the day. That would be most of the day. I'm so sad about that. Um, let's just give the babies a quick look. Mommy's coming to check on you. How are you? How's my little babies doing? How's my little new babies doing? Are y'all hanging in there? I have some new containers for you. How's my bok choy? Where's bok choy? Where's bok choy? Oh, let's see. These are my little strawberry plants. So, <clears throat> when they're like this, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. So, these are some new plants. Actually, I should bring these back in the house. Um, and why I say that is because I planted them as seeds. Uh, so, what's happening out here? Everybody looks good. Right? Is everybody happy? Look, you can... Oh. What's wrong with you? You like you got the cabbage worm thing already. What the hell? I guess you're not happy. He must have got too much water. Who is he? He better not be some Cinderella pumpkin. Damn it. It's okay, I'll plant another one. I will plant another one. That's why you gotta come out here every day and check on the babies. <sighs> he is gone, honey. Cinderella pumpkin. Okay. We'll get some more. That's okay. We'll get some more Cinderella. Anyway. Oh, my little tomato plant. All right, so I will. So I have some spring onions that I want to sow. And I think this is the perfect container. It makes a little mini uh, greenhouse. And so, yeah. 
So I've got my little container. Okay, the soil is moist and this is um, a starter mix that I always use. And so I'm going to sow these um, bunching onions, spring onions, green onions, whatever you want to call them. Um, so basically, I'm just going to sprinkle them across the top. So I'm going to do two packets and I'm just going to sprinkle them across the top, okay? So now I'm just going to cover them lightly with some soil and forgive me, I am videotaping and Instagramming so and doing the stuff, okay? so. But you just want to cover them. You don't want it too deep. Okay? So I'm just really just want to cover them. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm sprinkling and then I'm just going to water them in. That's about it. And I'm going to put the lid on there. So this is a chive. I can actually just start harvesting it. Ah. Uh, with some lettuce growing in it. This I don't think is chive. I don't know what it is. I think this is the bunching onion. Girl, I ain't sure. Anyway, no, this is the bunching onion. No, that's not the bunching onion. Oh, well, anyway, that's the chive. I need to get him out of here. 